my gorgeous peeps. Yes, it's me, Mama Cherry. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a video, a comparison, okay? I just received this beautiful fryer. It's the Omok. I know how to say it now. Come over and show them the label on the top, okay? And this is an air fryer. And what I'm going to do is, I've got a catering job today, um, frying up some southern fried chicken, some MCFC, oh you know the one. But I thought, okay, I'm going to do it in the traditional way, but and let me just turn this on, let me just show you I've, how easy this is. Literally just turn it, press the button, so it's now preheating, we'll let that preheat for a bit. So what I'm going to do is, I thought... As I'm going to be frying up some chicken thigh, chicken legs, drumsticks, why not do some of them here in the air fryer as well? And then we can do a comparison between the two. How they look, how they feel, but more importantly, how they taste. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. So, first thing first, I've got me some flour. I'm going to add some flour because we've got to season it. And then we've got this. Come in close. This is Mama Cherry's Love Dust. See, it says it right there. Hand blended Love Dust. So we're going to add some Love Dust. Okay, quite a bit of it. Then we're going to mix this in with our flour. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab myself some gloves here. <coughs> Let me just get some gloves from my cupboard. So I don't get too messy, messy. So, let's just get my gloves on. Now, what we're going to do here, we are going to use our drumsticks, okay? So, now, what we're going to do here is, if you look here, I've got some chicken, which has been marinating in some buttermilk, okay? So, let's just give this another turn. It's been marinating overnight, so it's really nice and juicy, lushy. So, we're going to take our drumsticks and then we're going to just really coat them. And what you want to do is you really want to just keep turning it till you really get that coating on. Let's get some more. Give it a turn over and over. It's important that you coat it well. Let's turn those. Put those, stack those up. So I think I'm going to do six. Two, four, six, yeah. So, first thing, I'll take my glove off. <coughs> and I'm going to take this out. So now look how deep that is. It's a brilliant vessel for cooking. I tried this with fish and chips my first time. It was fabulous. So, now, look, no oil. So we're just going to lay our coated drumsticks. And then you want to give them some air in between. Shake off your excess. And if this comes out really great, which I'm sure it will, I'm going to do some chicken tenders in here. So let's put another one, because we've got the space, so... Might as well. Okay. And I think I can fit one more in there. Let's get one more. Remember, really coat them well. Okay. So, then it goes, it slots straight back in. And at this point, I'm going to turn it up. Let me hit my timer. I'm going to tweak this up to about 18 minutes. So at 180 centigrade. And that's it. So we're going to just leave that. So while that is cooking, let's come with me over here. I'm going to turn my stove on here. And we are going to do the exact same thing frying on top of the stove, okay? So we've got our air fryer going and I'm going to do my traditional frying. 
So I'm going to season my chicken over there. Next time you see me, this is going to be loaded with chicken. And then we're going to do a chicken differentia comparison. Uh, okay. Uh, see you in a minute. It's been cooking now for about 10 minutes, and I think it's time to have a look. Well, it's not doing much yet, but let me turn them. Oh, yes, yeah, on the bottom bit, you can see it's starting to crisp up a little bit. But, you know, then again, this is without oil. And I think sometimes it takes experimenting with these sort of things. I don't know why I'm using them tongs to get my fingers up in here. Yeah, quite. Just get it right. Okay, so we're going to put it back. Ouch. That's why I'm using the tongs. <laughs> Let me get it back in. Okay. I'm not going to give up on this. I have faith. So let's see how this goes. There we go. Let's get it back in. Another 10 minutes to see how we go. All right. Coming back at you. But if you come over here, you can see... My conventional one, I've already turned them, mm -hmm. and they're looking good. Yeah. But I have faith in the oil-free as well, and I've got some chicken tenders cooking here. Okay, great. We'll come back at you in a minute. Okay, as you can see on the table here, I've got some of my fried chicken that I did the conventional way. Now let's see what happens here. I'm taking this out. Okay, it's actually browned. Let's see here. Now, it doesn't have that natural, crispy look to it, but it has browned. But to be honest, okay, this is oil-free, and it's about the taste. So I'm going to take one here. Eh, nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. And it's crunchy. I think for my very first attempt, it's not bad. I just need to get the batter correct so that the appearance is the same. But that ain't a bad piece of chicken for my very first air drum, air fry, fat free attempt at southern fried chicken. So, mm, look at that. Go up. Um, but you can call it southern air dry chicken. Mm hmm. <laughs> and it's juicy. All the moisture is inside that piece of chicken. No fat. And that's what I need. No fat. So, a little bit of peace, a whole lot of love, and a lot of soul from the air dryer. My air dryer. Air fryer. Oil free fryer. Delicious. Try it, okay? Just You just got to work with it. And I guarantee you guys, by the time I continue to work with this, I'm going to master this bad boy. And I'm going to start using it all the time. Enjoy. Don't forget, if you buy one of these, you're going to get $30 off. So just go to the comments or the description. Put in, just key in the website. And then where it says promotional code, Put that save 30 and you'll get $30 off your, um, your product. Well worth it. Go for it. Peace out.